So I'm bringing you five things that every gun enthusiast and outdoorsman could be out doing during social distancing. Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna get back to Aaron's social distancing survival tips in just a moment, but I wanted to share with you a quick little survival tip of my own, and that is to put a weapon light on any home defense firearm that you have. Just got this one in yesterday. It's from Olight. It's called the Balder RL. I love it. I don't know what took me so long to get a weapon light. I started playing with this one last night, shining it out the window, walking around the house in the dark. It is amazing, and if you should ever need to use your home defense firearm, this is gonna be invaluable. Let me tell you real quick about this one because they're gonna have a flash sale on March 27th. Huge discount. All the info is gonna be in the description. Let me show you how this one works. Super easy to turn on and off using these side buttons. You could use your index finger. You could use your thumb on the other side. You can push both and it goes into a strobe mode. It also has several different modes of operation from straight LED light to LED with laser to just laser. So it gives you some flexibility in how you're gonna use this light. This light has a max 1120 lumens, super bright as you can tell, and it can throw that light out to 240 meters. That's my tip, get yourself a weapon light. Let's get back to Aaron's tips for social distancing survival. Well, I don't know about you, but I've been practicing social distancing since before social distancing was cool. In fact, it's kind of like being an outdoorsman. Yes, sitting out in deer stands by yourself for hours and hours waiting for that big buck or that doe to come along to fill the freezer. By the way, I'm glad that I have my freezer full right now of nice lean venison. If you're looking for another activity to do while we all try and keep separate from one another, it's time to get ready for deer season 2020, which is just about upon us in six months or so. Grab your bow, a target, some arrows, go out, have fun. So I just set out my bow target right here, just in case I have to practice some social distancing this fall. I'll be honest with you, I'll be practicing social distancing this fall, whether it's required or not. Since things are a little bit slower than they normally are this time of year, I've got some time to get the bow out, have some fun shooting, and Hopefully, be ready for Mr. Big this fall. Ba -bum, ba -da -bum. Got the Prime CT5. I love this bow. Here comes the first shot of 2020. Nailed it. My form stinks. And I need some practice. I'm getting better already. Nice when your form starts to come back. What else is there to do? Well, how about getting to that workout that you've been talking about for the last, oh, 10 to 15 years? Start getting that workout in every day, or three days a week, or five days a week, or whatever you wanna do. But you don't have an excuse. You better be working out. Well, I can't go to the gym, you say. Really? You need to go to the gym to get a workout in. I think not. This is my snazzy workout area. There are literally so many exercises you can get out and do with just body weight. No equipment, no problem. Get those lunges in too. Make it or not, we gotta each other. Live in a prayer, take my hand. You're telling me you can't be doing push-ups day in, day out? How many can you do? One, 10, 20, 50? Come on, I'm getting rid of the excuses. You know, there is something else we could be doing. We could be doing some of those honeydew projects that we've been putting off for so long. Or better yet, how about we build some range stuff? Huh? Yeah! Oh, oh, here comes my wife. Ah, got my target stand, my shooting table. I'm ready to sight some guns in. Something that is often overlooked is dry fire practice. Whether it's the AR, your concealed carry pistol, even your shotgun, always make sure all the guns are unloaded and the ammunition is out of every magazine and put in a different room. No ammunition in the room that you're practicing dry fire in. So dry fire practice is a great way to go through how to clear malfunctions, trigger pull, aiming, getting up on target quickly. I even use targets that I set on the wall to come up, get my sights on them, pull the trigger. That's why you go through drills. You don't have to be shooting ammunition to get a lot of good practice in. Dry fire practice, you can go through your drills for clearing different malfunctions. Oh, stovepipe, what do we do? 
back on target. You can also go through magazine changes. So I'm on an empty mag. Gotta get this one because it's my carry gun, it's in my pocket. Back on target. So just like we did with the pistol, you can go through all those drills with an AR. So I know some of you are thinking, I understand how a handgun or an AR works with dry fire practice, but what are you gonna do with a shotgun? What do you do with a shotgun? You point and you swing and you move to your target. So what do we have to work on? How about our swing, follow through, trigger pull? So a simple drill that you can do, I like to use the joint between the ceiling and the wall as a reference line. As you get up on it, swing through, what you're gonna find is that your hands and your swing are not near as smooth or as accurate as you think they are. So while we all have this time, we can be doing dry fire practice, taking up a new course, learning as much as we can about the sport that we shoot in. In fact, I'm gonna put a link below to a trap shooting course. So right now, why don't you study up on your trap game? Using dry fire practice, pull. You can get that stuff all memorized, have all of the technique down, without ever firing a shot and then, and it will come, we're gonna be able to get out to the shooting line and I will guarantee you that you're gonna be a better trap shooter. A lot of shooting starts here and is about fundamentals. I am coming out to a spot that I've wanted to clear of prickly ash. I don't wanna spend much money, so I'm not gonna rent equipment. I'm gonna come out, use a hand snippers and get a little quality deer management project done. No viruses out here that I'm aware of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out this prickly ash. It's a small project, it's something I can do for very little money, a little sweat equity. Let me tell you, it is a little bit of a workout, but man, it feels good, it's nice out. Enjoying God's creation. Well, I got it to about where I want it. Actually, I'm just plum tuckered out, but just to show you what I got. So this whole area was nothing but prickly ash when I started. I got it opened up. Hopefully this will get deer to funnel around this little spot. But also I might turn this into a little hunting plot. I got some oak in the back here. I'm gonna probably go in, thin some of the brush out back here as well. And also cut some trees down just to give those oaks that are in there a little bit more sunlight. But that's gonna make this area a little bit more productive. Another hunting plot, food plot, about 150 yards that way. And that was a lot like this one. A little bit bigger area, a little flatter. 2014, I went in by hand, did the same thing I did right here. And then that fall, shot a 275, 175 inch typical whitetail out of there during shotgun season. So that spot, I wouldn't have been able to do if I wouldn't have came in, did the sweat equity, used what tools I had. Good shears does wonders. I probably worked for an hour and a half and uh, got this little spot cleared out. So you're looking for something to do, get out, get in the woods, complete one of those projects. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. That's five things you can do this week to get out, start doing some stuff, have some fun. Just keep your distance. You know what? We are gonna make it through this and I just wanna say, stay positive. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. God bless. Good stuff.